multiplying and dividing numbers between 0 and 1. So basically decimals. So multiply by decimals. Here's some examples. Now a classic example, 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. A lot of people, when asked this question, will say the answer is 0 0.1, which doesn't really make any sense, because that's one lot of 0 0.1. Now, there's lots of ways of thinking about this. If you think about, essentially, what, we, what it boils down to is just ignoring the decimals and look at the numbers. We've got 1 times 1. And that answer is 1. Now we've got to figure out where the decimal point goes in. If you look at this number, this number is 10 times smaller than this number. And 0 0.1 is 10 times smaller than 1. So to get to the answer, we're dividing by 10 and divided by 10. So we're dividing by 100. Now, there's a quicker way of doing that. And the quick way, well I think it's a quick way, is to count how many decimal places you've got in your question. I've got one decimal place here, one decimal place here, so there are two numbers after the decimal place. So you need to put two decimal places into your answer. So the decimal point needs to go there. And anything that's missing we just fill in with a zero. So the answer is 0 0.01, or 1 divided by 100 because this is a tenth times a tenth. Okay, so how does that play out uh, in other questions? Let's have a look. So if we just look at 14 times by 3, 3 fours are 12, carry 1, 3 tens are 30, plus another 10 is 42. So this answer is going to be something to do with 4 and 2, but we have divided by 10 from here to here, so from here to there, so we need to divide by ten, our answer by 10. Or, look at how many decimal places are in the question, just the one. We need one decimal place in the answer, so 4.2. OK, next one. Uh, 720 divided by 8. We could do 720 divided, uh, sorry, not divided, times by 8. Um, but it's just, really, 72 times by 8. Let's have a look at that. So 72 times by 8, 8, 2 to 16. Carry 1. 8, 7 is 56, plus the 1 is 57. Now if it was 720 times by 8, we'd have an extra 0 on the end. And then where does the decimal point go? Well, we've got one number after the decimal point. We need to put the decimal point in 1 before the end. So 576.0. But also, we don't need the point 0. So much better to write 576. And the last one, a decimal times a decimal. Again, ignore the decimal. Decimals to start with, so just do 5 times 42. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 1 is 210. And then we've got one two decimal places in the question, one two decimal places in the answer. So the answer is 2.10 or 2.1. Okay, two ways of looking at this. One way is to think about as always try to think about with dividing is what do I times 0 0.2 by to make 3 or if you like 3.0 now 0 0.2 times 5 makes 1 so to make 3 I'd have to times by 15 now another way of looking at it is to make sure your divisor is a whole number and to do that we need to um, if you think about this as a fraction, although it's not a fraction because it's got a decimal in it, um, we need to find an equivalent fraction where the bottom number is a whole number. So if I times the top and bottom by 10, I end up with 30 divided by 2, which is clearly 15. This one here, you can see 35 and the 7, so 35 divided by 7 is 5, so it's got something to do with 5. Um, if I think about what do I times 0 0.7 by to make 35, well, times by 5, but where? what's it going to be to make it 35 and not 3.5 or 0 0.35? If I times by 0 0.5, that would be 0 0.35. So if I times by 5, that would be 0, uh, 3.5. So to, times, to get 35, I need to times by 50. Again, if I think about it as a fraction, 35 divided by 0 0.7, um, that's 350 divided by 7. And 35 divided by 7 is 5 with a 0 on the end to make 50. Next one, 56 divided by 0 0.8. Well, I can see that, um, sorry, 5.6 divided by 0 0.8. I can see that 56 divided by 8 is 7. So it's going to be something to do with 7. So 0 0.8 times 0 0.7, that would be 0 0.56. And I want 
5.6, I've got 0 0.8 times 7 would be 5.6, so the answer is 7. Now, 0 0.48 divided by 0 0.4, 48 divided by 4 is 12, so 0 0.48 divided by 4 would be 0 0.12, but we want to divide by 0 0.4 which makes it bigger, so it becomes 1.2 because it's 10 times smaller you divide it by, that means it goes 10 times many, as many times into the number you divide it into. So that's 1.2. Okay, and let's practice some questions. So if you pause the video now. Okay, so 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. If we do 2 times 4, that's 8. And we've got two decimal places in our question, so we need to add two decimal places in our answer, including the 8. 16 times 0 0.3, well, three, 16 times 3, 3 8, 3 6 is 18, carry 1, 3 1 is a 3, and 1 is 4. So that's going to be 48, but we've got one decimal place in the question, so I need to put 1 into my answer, so 4.8. 230 times 7, if I just do 23 times 7, 7 3 is 21, 7 2 is a 14, plus 2 is 16, so 161. Now I'm times in by 230, so I need to add a zero on the end, and then I need to put in a decimal because it's one decimal place in the question, so the answer is going to be 161. 3 times 51. 3 1's are 3, 3 5's are 15. Two decimal places in the question, need to put into 2 into the answer, so we get 1.53. Okay, dividing. If we make this 20 divided by 4 by times in both parts by 10, then the answer is just 5. If we think about 0 0.4 times something is 2, or 2.0, then we should, have, we should be able to spot that that's 5. Okay, 8 is going to 32 four times, uh, but our answer is going to be 10 times as big because we're dividing by 0 0.8, so the answer is 40. 60, 63 divided by 9 is 7, and 7 times 0 0.9 is in fact 6.3, so that's just a straightforward one. And 4 is into 0 0.36, so 36 divided by 4 is 9. Uh, but 9 times 0.4 is going to be 3.6, so we need to make it 0.9 to get the decimal point in the right place, because 4 times 9 is 36, two decimal places if we have 0.4 times 0.9 to get 0.36. So there we go.